As we celebrate Purim and then move on to Shabbos, Parshas Tzav, I'd like to suggest that there is a Pasuk in Parshas Tzav which we can link, connect to Purim and help us take the real internal message and lesson of Purim and apply it not only to Shabbos but to the rest of the year. The Pasuk tells us that on the Mizbeach in the Mishkan and later in the Beis HaMikdash was a fire. And that fire was constant. It was called an Eish Tamid. It was Tukat al Mizbeach, Pasuk says, Lo Sichbeh. It was never extinguished. And this was not only in the time of the Mishkan, but also in the Beis HaMikdash. In fact, today, in all shuls, we have what's called an Air Tamid. We have a, a light that we keep on. Even when all the lights in the shul go out, this Nair Tamid never goes out, and it's reminiscent of this Eish Tamid, this fire that never went out, in the Mishkan. So perhaps there is a lesson involved that we can take away from Purim that is also connected to this fire that never went out. A lesson of Purim that should never go out from us, from within us. What is that lesson? So on Purim, we have a number of different mitzvahs, and aside from reading the Megillah, the mitzvahs of the day that were created by Mordechai and Esther, because of the fact that the Jewish people were hated, we wanted to instill, Mordechai and Esther wanted to instill a sense of love upon us, wanted to make sure that all the Jewish people were able to celebrate with each other. So there was Sudas Purim that we have, the meal of Purim that we share, there is a mitzvah of Mishloach Manos, of exchanging gifts with each other. And there is a mitzvah of Matanos Levyonim, of helping people who are not able to make the Suda of Purim, who need a little financial help. These mitzvahs of the day really correspond to the fact that we have certain innate midos, we have certain character traits that are human character traits that we're constantly fighting with. And three of those traits, for example, are the mida of kina, of jealousy, of sin, of hatred, and of kas, of anger. It is these traits that we try to extinguish on the day of Purim by reaching out to people we might not normally reach out to. By sending someone to Mishloach Manos who we wouldn't normally send because perhaps we're angry at them. Or by inviting someone to our Purim Suda who we may have a feeling of jealousy toward. And we try to extinguish these bad, these negative traits, and change them into positive traits, albeit at the very least for one day. It's so interesting that out of all of our holidays, Purim is the one holiday which is so connected with children. In fact, the Shulchan Aruch says that normally, when it comes to children coming to shul, perhaps they're too young, they're too loud, but when it comes to Megillah reading, we try to bring our children to come and to bang their garagas when we hear the name of Haman. We want the children to be involved. Maybe there's a, a deeper hidden secret as to why the children are so connected with the holiday of Purim, aside for the costumes. But something deep. And maybe it has to do with these midos, with these character traits. See, when it comes to a child... A child may be jealous of another child that has a toy, but it's only because the child wants that toy, and as soon as it gets that toy, or is given another toy, the child's jealousy is gone. A child doesn't have a sense of hatred toward anyone else. The child only thinks about themselves at the moment and what their needs are. And even if a child becomes angry, if a child wants a bottle, and it's not being given a bottle, once it gets its bottle, it's no longer angry a few minutes later. But as adults, when we become jealous of someone, we remain jealous and we have to work very hard to eradicate the feeling of jealousy. When we have a feeling of sin, of hatred towards someone, it's a constant battle because it becomes ingrained within us. And when we become angry, sometimes our anger could last for a long period of time and we constantly work on ourselves to try to make sure that our anger doesn't last so that's the reason, perhaps, that the holiday of Purim is so associated with children and connected to us as adults to be able, on one day, to act like children 
in regard to these character traits. To have love for all Jews, for all people that we may have conflict with at any other time. And the Pasuk of the Eish Tamid of the fire, which is constant, well maybe it's to take those feelings, those good feelings of Purim that are counter to other negative traits and maybe to make that part of the fire that is within us maybe to make that constant and to make sure that that positive feeling we have for other people on Purim is never extinguished just like the fire on the Mizbeach on the altar was never extinguished throughout the year thank you for listening Purim Sameach and good Shabbos